Park's notorious Central Park Five rape case faces very strong backlash after the release of a hard-hitting Netflix series. Linda Fairstein stepped down from the boards of a college and a nonprofit charity. She was the top Manhattan sex crimes prosecutor when five teenagers were wrongfully convicted following the 1989 attack on a female jogger. CBS This Morning Saturday co-host Michelle Miller has covered the Central Park Five for years and joins us with this latest turn of events. Michelle, good morning to you. Good morning. Many are hearing about this case for the first time because of the series When They See Us. Linda Fairstein is played by Felicity Huffman, a role filmed before Huffman admitted to participating in the college admission scandal. She's seen as a single-minded prosecutor convinced of the young men's guilt. They brutally raped a woman and discarded her like a piece of garbage. When They See Us revisits Manhattan's Central Park Five, a case which drew national headlines in 1989. It focuses not only on the black and Latino teens who were accused of attacking and raping a female investment banker, but also on the woman who helped successfully convict them, prosecutor Linda Fairstein. These kids were on a rampage. The accused later said they were coerced into confessing. And these young men were the proxies for all kinds of other agendas. Sarah Burns produced and directed a 2012 documentary about the case. I think a lot of people now with the new series are coming to this story and learning about what happened, and it makes people upset. I didn't see a lady or hit anyone. Raymond saw you hit her! Who's Raymond? The city of New York reached a $41 million settlement with the five in 2014, years after another man confessed, linked to the crime by DNA evidence. Since the Netflix series debut last Friday, the backlash against Fairstein, now an author, has exploded. The hashtag cancel Linda Fairstein trended on Twitter, and more than 75,000 people signed an online petition calling for a boycott of her children's books and mystery novels. Raymond Santana left jail a free man. We interviewed Raymond Santana, one of the Central Park Five, after his exoneration. What do you say to the people out there who just don't believe you're innocent? You know, these people have their mind fixated on us being guilty. We have tried everything we possibly could to prove our innocence, and our innocence has been proven. Santana now tells TMZ that Fairstein deserves the scrutiny she is now getting. And even though it's 30 years later, she has to pay for her crime. In the wake of the miniseries release, Fairstein has resigned from Vassar College's Board of Trustees, as well as the board of the victim service agency, Safe Horizon. In a letter to the agency's chairman, she says the show depicts me in a fictionalized version of events in a grossly and maliciously inaccurate manner. I think in part why this is directed more at Linda Fairstein is that she has remained steadfast in her belief in the guilt of the Central Park Five. In a statement to CBS this morning, Fairstein's lawyer said the series director, Ava DuVernay, ignored the vast majority of readily publicly available material about the case, all in the name of fabricated sensationalism. DuVernay declined our request for comment. Well, Ava DuVernay was here at the table before the, the series came out. and, it, and it